welcome back to my channel. My name's Yasmin. I am a wine taster, sipper. Sometimes I'm a gulper. No, I'm just playing. I'm just a regular girl from Dallas. I love wine. What I do on my day job is I'm a real estate agent here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So I will have videos um, on homes as well on this channel. So make sure you guys check those out if you're looking for a home in the DSW area. But back to the wine. So in this video, I want to bring you guys a video about red blends. I didn't want to do any type of grape varietal specifically. I just wanted to do um, some blends. And I guess I'm going to say this is like common red blends because these brands and these particular bottles you guys can find in any store, basically. Um, Total Wines, Sam's, Costco, any liquor store, any wine store. These are just really popular brands and I see them all the time. And I wanted to have a wine that everyone had access to. Well, I'm in the United States, so if you're watching this somewhere else and they don't carry it, um, I will put the links to the sites below and the links to the Pacific bottle so you guys can order it on there and enjoy this at your home as well. Three different types of red blends. I have the 19 Crimes here, Cali Red. This is very popular and I got, you guys have probably seen it a lot. It has Snoop Dogg's face on it. This is the Apothic Red, um, the yeah, Rich and Smooth blend. And then I have the Menage Trois Silk. I've never tried this one, so I'm excited to see what it's about. And I'm ready to just jump right into the video. Give me some time and some struggle. I went right ahead and opened all of these. Thank you, shout out to one of my best friends, Maya. Purchased me a wine opener, an electric one. So we should be having that shortly from Amazon. And I just wanna say thank you to her because she, you know, she said she has something that helped me and it made my life easier. And if it makes my life easier and I don't have to keep doing all this and doing all that, then hey, let me know because your girl likes to wear nails and it's really difficult trying to open these bottles with my wine bottle opener. So I went right ahead today and I'm gonna tell you, it was a struggle, but we made it through. Now we're here and let's get into the video. First one, we're going to try the 19 Crimes Cali Red. You can purchase this for $15 on their site, you guys. And it says it has alcohol, 14.1%. Um, it's origin is California and the year is 2020 when the grape was picked for this one. I'm gonna read the back real quick. It says, 19 Crimes tells the true story of rule breakers who beat the odds, overcame adversity, and went on to become folk heroes in their society. So when I was looking on the website about, I guess these criminals, they say, it was more of like the 1800s, or was it 1900s? It was like 1855. So 1855 considered the 1900s or the 1800s. I guess it's the 1800s for the 19th century, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> When I went to the website, I signed up with my email. They have a rewards program where you sign up, you know, they send you perks, um, you get some points, and even, oh, it smells good. You even get discounts on their wine. So let's see what it smells like. I smell, I smell a lot of cherry. I I want to say raspberry too. I smell something that's like really strong. Is it, is that that grass smell people talk about? I'm taking a wine course now, so I'll learn more about it, but I enjoy smelling this wine right here. And then let's taste it. So it puts you in a mind of like not so bold Cabernet, if that's what you want to say. That's what I'm gonna say because I drink a lot of Cabernet, so that's what I'm just reference it to. So it's not as bold, but if you're not a wine drinker, it'll still give you that uh taste in your mouth where you really may not like it. But if you're a wine drinker, you're like, mmm, this is pretty good. About the story of the 19 crimes. So when I was on their website, they had pictures of criminals 
Um, and then they had the stories of what these criminals actually did. I wasn't too interested in them because we're not tasting their wine today. We're tasting big snoop dizzle double jizzle. And he is just, um, as you could say, like an influencer or a sponsor of the wine. I guess because it's in California. That's why he's on this wine. So he's on the red blend wine. But they have like, they just had one come out with Martha Stewart as well. I don't know why Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart start doing everything together, but it's very interesting. I'll give this wine a thumbs up and I'll say if you see it at the grocery store, just make sure you pick it up. Okay, wine two. Right now I'm bringing to you the Apothic Red Wine now. If you have not seen this wine in the store, I don't know what store you're going to, but I really hope you go to a different store, okay? So this one is the winemaker's blend, but it just says red. A lot of their wines um, say red. They have a lot of red blend wines on their website when I was looking at it. And that brings me to let you guys know that the price was $10.99 on their website. So it's very inexpensive for a good bottle of wine, right? This was... Um, the vintage is 2020 and it is from California. Now this was inspired by the Apotheca region in the old world, like old England, where they made wine over there and it's unique in style and taste. And this wine is supposed to be anything but ordinary. Also looked up who made the wine. Her name is Debbie Jurgensen and she's a black woman and I just love that. See, it's a fact that I didn't know that I need to know because hey, I'm a black woman that's getting into wine. You know, we need to know these type of things. So now let's pour. Oh no, it dripped. Okay, that was a messy pour. Now let's swirl it. I smell some vanilla. Bold, bold cherry, raspberry, grass. There's grass in here. Smells like a little bit of dirt. But we're gonna call it soil. What else? I wanna say something else. Some type of food, but I don't know. So we're gonna do a taste, because that's what we're here for. Oh wow. That's really clean. Red blend wine is a wine that is not made from just one grape. So when you have one grape, you have like the Cabernet, the Merlot, the Riesling. These, since it's a blend, it's made from multiple grapes. This one is really smooth. And I feel like it's sweet. It's really fruity. I feel like this is really sweet. This would be a good wine to put at a party, you guys. If you guys are having a party, maybe um, a dinner party or even just a party where you wanted to have something that wasn't as hard as liquor there, I would definitely put this wine at my party because it's not too sweet. So a real wine drinker won't be like, ew, this cheap trash is gonna give me a headache. But they can get this and they can sip this. Or like I said, sometimes we even go. I'm just playing. <laughs> But it's a really good wine. I highly recommend this. You can definitely find this anywhere. It's um, really common everywhere. So try this wine. Okay, last but not least, we have the Menage a Trois Silk. So when I first read this, I did not know how to say this at all. Don't be ashamed if you don't know how to say it either. But I'm going to teach you Menage a Trois Silk. This is definitely a soft red blend uh, from California, 2020. All these were definitely 2020. So I guess that tells me like on the red blends, they don't have to age as long to be really good. And then this is how much alcohol? 13.5% alcohol. 
Now, this bottle was $14 on their site. And Menage a I have a lot of wines. Um, they had the most variety out of all the other two wines. So let's smell it. Gotta get a big swirl. Ooh, this one smells good. This one smells really sweet, but also really oaky. I smell raspberries in here. I smell cherries in here. I smell a little bit of, I smell like some blueberries as well. Do y'all think they put the fruit in there? No, they're not doing that? Okay, just asking. So, so the three grapes that they have in here is the Pinot Noir, the Malbec, and the Petit Syrah. They have those grapes, and it has three grapes in this bottle, and I believe all of their blends have three grapes, hence the Menage a Trois. Now let's taste. Now this one says silk, but I don't think I'm getting the silk part. This one's kind of spicy. It's not as smooth as the other two. I feel like the middle one we just tried, the Apothic Red was the smoothest. But this one says silk and it's a soft red wine blend. So with the word silk and the word soften, I'll expect it to be a little bit more smoother, but it's not. It's giving, it's giving a little burn back there. Now, it's still a pretty good wine, I can say that, but it, I think the name Silk is misleading. I do feel like they may have a smoother wine um, and they should probably replace that name with Silk. So, what else about this wine? Oh. It's really good though. It, it tastes a lot like cherries. That's all I'm gonna say. A lot of cherries, a lot of alcohol. And then you drink it. Cheers. Okay, so now we're gonna compare all three, bring them together, talk about what type of foods will go well with these wines, where you can get them, how much they cost, and then we're just gonna end the video. Okay, so my favorite part, where we're going to compare the wines. So far, these are my favorite two, and I want to smell them against each other and taste them as well. I'm right-handed. Okay, got this one going. There you go. Ooh, this is much more mild than the 19 Prime, so the Poppy Red. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, this flavor is very overpowering. If you're trying to taste these two together, I wouldn't suggest it. Let me put this one down. Cause this one's on the stronger end. This is more, this is like the smoothest one. Y'all, I just had this wine for dinner last week and the end. What was it? What did I eat? I ate some BJ's. I ate a pasta. It was so good. Okay, let me compare both of these. Mmm. Okay, they're about tit for tat. Tit for tat on the smell. Which one looks darker? Okay, this one is definitely, I feel, darker. The Menage a Trois Silk rather than the 19 Crown. This one's stronger. They taste about the same. This one is smoother. Yes. So, if we're going to compare them, put them in a the lineup. The winner 
It's the Apothic Red wine. I highly recommend this wine, guys. Go get it. It's a very good wine. It tastes so delicious. It's smooth. It's not overpowering. If you want to start drinking stronger wines, try and start with this one. Then try and go ahead and get the 19 Palms Cali Red. It's a good wine. It's strong. If you drink this whole bottle, I don't know if you're going to be drunk, horny, or sick. Maybe you're going to be all three the next morning, okay? And then the Menage a Trois Silk. It's a good one if you want to just probably sip on some wine, um, read a good book, and have something that you're not going to drink too much of. You should probably get this one. Overall, all three were great wines, but I would probably drink the Apothic Red when it comes to a red blend. And it says rich and smooth, and baby, baby girl is smooth. Now, all three wines can be purchased locally if you're in the United States. Um, I did see something about this one, um, 19 Crimes in Utah. I don't think they sell it in Utah, but you can order it on their website. I will post the links down below. These are my recommendations. Um, I hope you guys come back to my channel um, to watch more wine videos. I hope you like this video. Give it a like, a thumbs up, share if you want to, comment if you have time, and you know, subscribe to my channel. Also, like I said, I am a real estate agent in the DFW area. Check out my real estate videos on my channel as well. And anything you have, any type of questions about that, my information will be below. But thank you guys for watching my video. I'm so thankful, so grateful that you came back to watch another one. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.